Hello everyone, today I'm going to do an energy reading on full moon, the eclipse today and 11-11. The eclipse has already passed but the effect of the energies is still there so it might still be true for you. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So let's begin. First of all, yes, there is a lot of energy coming towards us from nature right now which is always true but at this point of time because of the full moon the eclipse and the change of seasons from autumn to winter a lot of changes are happening in our bodies as well as our mind and of course the way you feel the, your emotions will not be paired because of all of these changes so yes right now a lot of different forces are being exerted on our whole being from all different directions and they're all natural they're all normal so nothing to be scared of but just know what's coming up and what you need to do in order to make the best use of this time so first of all the energies in nature right now are supporting your every move they are supporting your projects your work your personal life and your job is to also do the same so your job is to also support yourself by taking care of yourself by spending time with yourself, spend time in meditation, in doing things that you love to do and spending time with your family and friends. Honor your needs, whatever they may be. So you might feel a lot of emotions coming up. Honor your need to express those emotions. So if you need to cry, just let yourself cry. Let yourself have that moment. Release a lot of anxiety and anticipation is coming up right now and I have been greatly feeling it since the last two or three days and I was wondering what's happening. That's when I checked the faces of the moon and I came to know that it was full moon occurring today. So even before you know, your body already feels the effects of those energies. Be tender towards yourself. Now this is a time when the season is changing from autumn to winter and our bodies are actually preparing to go into hibernation mode. But in today's world, we don't do that. We don't hibernate, right? We still have to work. We still have to wake up on time and do all our chores. And that can be taxing. So whatever your needs are, once again, honor them. Be tender towards yourself. Don't beat yourself up for not cleaning the house one week. Don't beat yourself up for not completing something that you wanted to complete. For those of you who are in the careers that are related to nature, such as geology, physics, fuel, astronomy, electronics. Now you must be thinking, how is electronics related to nature? But electricity is nature, right? So electronics, any of the earth sciences, health sciences, animals, nature, all of those people are going to see positive forward push in their career. So at this time, know that the forces of nature are not just around you, they're also moving through you. So open yourself up to them, don't resist them. Allow whatever is happening in your body and mind to happen. Release that energy instead of resisting it and holding it back. This time is also very good for wealth accumulation, spending time with family, taking the next step in your achievements, or if you are delaying grabbing your achievements, you can go do that right now. Overall, this is a very nice time for general satisfaction in your life, provided you honor your needs and take care of yourself. Thirdly, this is a very good time for you to realize the energies of the Divine Feminine. So if there are any parts of yourself that you have lost, let's say that you used to love drawing as a child and now you don't do that at all. However, in your subconscious mind, at the back of your mind, you're always thinking about, you know, how can you express your creativity? And that means that you have lost a part of yourself, right? So you can reclaim that at this time. It will be very joyous and very good for your energies to do that at this time. In general, people are going to experience more relationship healing and harmony at this time. However, if you are not experiencing that, then what steps can you take in order to bring that harmony and healing in your relationships? So now is the right time to take those steps. Anybody who is trying to heal relationships, it is a good time to devote yourself to inner exploration and prayers. And lastly, whoever is suffering from the loss of a partner or a relationship, 
it is a good time for them as well to honor themselves to honor their needs and bring upon healing for themselves as well so that is all for today's energy update this is for the full moon eclipse and 11 11 2022 let me know if this resonated or not in the comments below if you want to see more of these videos please like share and subscribe i will see you next time have a wonderful rest of your day Thank <laughs> you.